Sophia, this is Charlotte Carroll from The Athletic. How was it to get back on the court today and actually play a game? It felt great. Uh, we've been out, I mean, our last game was around nine months ago. So to be able to um, actually get out here and uh, play together as a team was really exciting. Jim Clark from uh, Women's Hoops. Go ahead. No, go ahead, Jim. I'll go after you. All right. This is Jim Clark from Women's Hoops World. Um, comment a little bit on on what you saw from the the new kids uh, that you really liked and maybe didn't. Um, I saw that we were capable of being aggressive, but as always, that you know we can work on that more. Um, I see that they understand the concepts that, of what we're doing. And they're able to apply that today. And I think as you know, we continue to practice and then continue to actually like play um, and be in those game situations, it can only get better from here. Hi, Olivia, this is Alexa. Um, specifically, what did you see from Aaliyah today? And how does she help you whether or not you're on the practice court together on the court at the, in the game at the same time just to um, be a better player in your own right too? Um, I see, you know, what she really brings is just a, a physicality and she's super strong. Um, and we were able to see that today too, regardless of, you know, the offensive fouls and things like that. Uh, but she's just super strong and super physical and she's able to finish well too. And I think, um, you know, as she continues to, to go throughout the season, uh, that's going to be a, a very big factor for us. Olivia, it's Carl Adamek at the Journal Inquirer. Um, starting on Tuesday, hopefully you'll play four games in eight days. What will it be like for this team to play game, practice, game, practice? And how do you build on each performance and each practice going through that kind of stretch? Yeah, I mean, you know, being in this program is definitely something that I'm not used to um, and I haven't seen before. But I think, you know, as as most things that we've been able to um, – to do this season, we'll, we'll be able to adjust as we need to. And so um, regardless if that's like, you know, back-to-back -back games like that, or, you know, just a quick turnaround, I think we'll be able to adjust well as a team. And um, I think we're just looking forward to just being able to play regardless of the situation. Hey, just to kind of follow up on the youth question, how did it feel actually like on the court, I guess it was talked about like kind of chemistry and how you guys would blend just how it actually felt pass to pass or play to play with them, with the new guys. Yeah, I think we're moving the ball well. And um, I think we were trying to find the open people regardless of, you know, we have the, the little turnovers, you know, little tip pass, things like that. Um, but that'll come with time and that'll come with practice too. And, you know, the good thing about playing is being able to see, you know, okay, this is how we run the game and then go back and practice and adjust and fix that. I mean, from our perspective, it looked obviously very smooth, but how did it, did it feel smoother than it expected for you guys or after practice? Is, was that kind of just what you were expecting? Um, I mean, like I said before, we'll just go back and, and see what we need to work on and things like that. Um, you know, of course, it won't be as smooth as we were in practice, you know, just being the first game and coming out the gate like that. But, um, you know, we'll just look back and, and adjust how we need to. Thank you.